Okay, so resource guarding toys or bones. Um, it's kind of about the same. So, the way that you create resource guarding is by taking things away from them. I never take things away from my dogs. Um, even if it's something I really don't want them to have, first of all, since I don't take things away from them, when they're puppies, I, I, I teach them, you know, that when they have something I want, I toss a treat. They drop whatever they have in their mouth, and um, they get the treat. And then if it's a toy, I'll toss it. Or if it's something they shouldn't have, I pick it up and put it away. The way you create resource guarding is by taking things away. Don't ever do it. Um, very, very few occasions has there been a reason that I've absolutely had to grab something out of my dog's mouth, you know, that could hurt them. Um, something that could be poisonous, like a poisonous plant or something like that. But it doesn't happen very often. So, even from the time I get my puppies or the time they start running around, I do not take things away from them. First, it creates the game of chase. If you're going to take something, if, if they're playing with something and they come up to you and you take it out of their mouth, well, then why would they bring things to you? Because you're just going to take it away from them. So, instead, I will... Get them. Come here, Chloe. Come here, Chloe. So when they bring it, first I pat them. Oh, good girl. Yay, yeah, is a good girl. So she knows anything she has in her mouth, she can bring to me anytime she wants, and I will not take it out of her mouth. Um, now I hear the kid thing. I raised two boys with 15 dogs growing up and um, I get it life's busy you work you can't pick stuff up but I told my kids if you leave it on the floor it's the dogs um, if you want to leave stuff on the floor in your bedroom that's fine because you can shut your bedroom door but in the living room and you know the area that the dogs are if it's on the floor then chances are the dogs are gonna get it so even if they pick up a, a shoe um, and they bring it to me. I do not take it away. Bring it here, Chloe. Come on. Get it. Get the toy. Get it. Okay. Get the ball. Good girl. She's going to bring it to me. I'm going to pet her. Bring it here. Bring it here. Get it. <laughs> she can't make up her mind if she wants to get the ball or the toy. Bring it here. Come on, Chloe. Yes. Good girl. Come here. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Yes, yeah, so every time my dogs bring me something, that's what I do. I pet them, and if they keep it in their mouth and I want them to drop it, bring it here. Yes, good girl. That is a good girl. I want her to drop it, I show her a treat. Yes, good girl. Now I'll toss the treat over there, I'll grab her toy. She eats the treat, and I'll toss the toy. Good girl. Yes. Good girl, Chloe. That is a good girl. Drop it. Yes. Good girl. I got it. Good girl. And I'm going to take a couple. Right here. I'll toss them over there. Pick it up. I teach my dogs ones that I... From the time I get them or the time they start running around playing, this is what I do. So since she's been nine weeks old, she will bring me stuff and drop it because I don't never take things away from her. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Good girl. And she knows drop it too because I incorporate that at eight or nine weeks. And um, they pick it up really quick. Bring it here. Get it. Get the toy. <laughs> Get the toy. Get the toy. Good girl. Yeah. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Drop it. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. With her, I don't.
don't have to scatter stuff to pick it up because she knows if I pick up one of her toys, we're going to play. Yeah, it's a good girl. She's a good girl. Yay, glowing. Yeah, it's a good girl. Play a little toy. Get it. Get it. Talk, I let him win. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. Get it. Get it. Get it. Drop it. Yes. Good girl. We work on this too. I don't really work on this until they get a little bit older. But, you know. Um, yes. Good girl. Good girl. No bite. You gotta be nice to mama. She's still puppy, so she got a little bit of mouthing still. Yes, good girl. Get it. And if you do this with bones, toys, balls, you'll never have an issue. So the way that people create resource guarding is because they're constantly taking stuff out of your dog's mouth. If it's something personal and you don't want them to have it, don't put it on the ground or in their area. I know that gets hard, but it is what it is, you know. Um, and then anytime they do have something, show them a tree and get them to drop it or trade for another, another toy. So we could play with the dog. Get it. Yes, good girl. She's gonna bring it. We're gonna pet it. I'm gonna show her the ball. You get it? Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Yay, Chloe. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, good girl. That's all you gotta do to, to stop resource guarding. Um, now, again, you got more than one dog. You got to work them together so you, they understand the share process and you won't have any issues. But if you do this with a puppy from the time you get it with the food and the toys, you'll never worry about resource guarding. Um, because you're never taking things away from them and giving them a reason to guard anything. So um, it's simple. Um, and like I said, you don't have to do it constantly. You work on this every other day for 10, 15 minutes. And they'll have it down forever. Um, like you say, it's uh, kind of part of classical and operative conditioning, you know. That's how I raise them. Um, from the time they're this big, I don't take things away from them. I don't play with their food. Um, I overfeed them a little bit. I, I trade them a treat for a toy or a, a toy for a toy. Same with bones. If we had some bones in here, I... I, I, I don't toss the bones because usually they're heavy, but I'll roll them across the floor. They bring them back. I'll show them a treat. They'll drop it. Um, like I say, it's just, it's really simple. If they're not dropping whatever it is for what you have, what you have as a treat, the value isn't high enough. Get something different. Sometimes you might have to try 10, 15 things before you sign you find something that they really like. Um, cheese and hot dogs are ones that I will use if I get a stubborn dog. Uh, turkey jerky, beef jerky. Um, like I say, you just got to figure out what it is that means a lot to your dog. You know, I mean, that dog might not value a treat the same as this dog, and that they're all different. But um, it's very easy to not even deal with resource guarding if you start right when they're puppies. Um, now, I do have a couple rescues that I have that I've been working with, and I work with them the same way, but it's a little bit different. Um, Cooper, he was pretty bad, but I, I did the same thing. I, he, would, he would get a toy, and he, he, he didn't resource guard his food, but he resource guard his toys. So I would toss his toy, and he wouldn't bring it back to me because he's a year and a half old. His bad habits are already set in him. So he would um, 
I'd put a bed down, he'd lay on his bed, and when he's chewing on his toy, I'd come and sprinkle a bunch of treats. He'd start eating the treats, and then I'd toss a couple treats a little bit away, and um, get him to walk over to it, and then I could pick up his treat. But that's the next video. This one is just prevention. So like I say, just an ounce of, ounce of prevention goes a really long ways in resource therapy. Plus, you teach them at a really young age, you know, to, to, to bring you stuff and drop it. It's, it's pretty awesome. My dogs don't run from me. Actually, she ran from me the other day because she had gotten one of my chickens, um, one of my baby chicks. But she dropped it. It took a minute, and then she was kind of afraid to come in because I yelled. But um, we got through that it's part of being on the farm. They don't associate with the chickens very much, but once in a while, chickens do come into the fence. And it's not so much resource garden. It was a new thing that was running from her, so it was very interesting. But um, like I say, an ounce of prevention goes a long ways.